This is Sean Christensen with your national sports news for Channel 17. In the NBA, we're going to talk about the Wild Wild West Conference and how the Los Angeles Lakers have had a really poor start. In fact, the worst start they've had in 34 years. Well, they have terrible defense and terrible offense. There's your problem. Coach Mike Brown has changed their offense up from the triangle offense to the new Princeton style offense where he's trying to highlight the fact that they have a lot of talent spread out or over a lot of positions. They're trying to get more ball movement, more teamwork involved. However, they've been failing to get the ball in the hands of Steve Nash, the two-time MVP who's one of the best passing guards in the history of the NBA. James Harden has also been shaking up the Western Conference since the beginning of the season when he got traded after his former team offered a contract a little less than what he was looking for. He said, no way, Jose, and they said, there's the door, Jose. He's now doing very well with the Houston Rockets, his new team, as he averages 35.3 points a game, winning Western Conference Player of the Week and destroying the competition in that points per game average with Kobe Bryant at the far second place with 26.8 points. I feel like after a few more weeks of the teams adjusting to his scouting reports and seeing what his strengths and weaknesses are, he'll be taken down a few notches just like his teammate Jeremy Lin last year with the New York Knicks and Lin Sanity. In Major League Baseball, David Ortiz of the Red Sox re-signed with a two-year contract worth $26 million, however with incentives that could bring it up to $30 million. I actually heard there was a rumor that they finally made baseball interesting, but it was just a rumor. And now we're on to the NFL where who else are we going to talk about but the Bears. Charles Peanut Tillman the defensive back of the Bears has been leading the way for their defense. After winning Defensive Player of the Month award for the NFC, he came out swinging, or rather punching balls, and forcing four fumbles against the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. But even with an impressive record like seven wins and one loss, the Chicago Bears still have those haters drinking that haterade. They say that the Bears just don't have a strong enough schedule, playing opponents where they've only beaten one team that had a winning record so far this year. But the good news for those people is that the Bears are going to be playing the rest of their games against top-ranked defenses in the top 15 of the NFL for the rest of the season, starting with next Sunday against the Houston Texans, who are tied with the Bears for the second-place spot in the NFL. And it's going to be crazy. Hope you guys watch it. Thanks for stopping by for Sports Minute with Sean Christensen. You guys are number one.